I'm going to run through some lower back drills. Um, so our goal here is to loosen up lower back hamstrings, just get a little bit of blood flow through there. So the first one, we're going to do a sort of a 90-90 uh, twist. The lower your feet are, the easier it is. So if you do experience a lot of discomfort, uh, the closer to 90 degrees you are, so the closer your knee is to, to your ankle. I'll show you in a sec, so that's a nice lower variation. It's quite a lot more comfortable. And then if it just feels totally fine, the further up your feet are, the more difficult it becomes. Trying to get your knees as close as you can together. But again, wider they are, the easier it is. As well as keeping your shoulders on the floor. So there are the three points that are important for these. Five each side. Once you're done five each side, grab the roller. For this, you're just going to do a dead bug hold, so you're going to wedge that in, drill your lower back into the floor, push your hands and your feet together, sort of 20 to 30% of your pressure, not max effort, just enough to create that tension and that brace. It's a core activation you're looking for. Hold that for about 20 seconds and then we're going to repeat that one more time so you can do the subline twists when you're comfortable and then the roller squeeze. Back to the dead bug holds. Twenty seconds. Now, once you've done that, we're going to combine two exercises for this next one. So you're going to need a light resistance band and a light weight. So you can use a barbell, dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever. But you're going to want to stand on a step or stand on something like a chair. It doesn't really matter how high up you are, as the higher is better. Because what we're going to try and do is really relax the shoulders down, but also let that lower back round as well so try and let the whole back round and then you're going to try and hinge at the hip a fraction but you notice every part of me is trying to round my lower back mobility isn't the best so what I'm trying to do is just force my spine out this way a little bit a small bend in the knee will help if your hamstrings are tight and then you're trying to let the weight take you down basically until either you feel the floor or until you feel like everything's relaxing out. And then the important part is you do the exact same thing back up so you curl back up. You don't just try and throw yourself back upwards. So you curl the same way. Squeeze your glutes at the top. And then repeat that one more time. So 
round forwards at the shoulders. Let's feel everything. Let the weight help you. Let gravity do the work. And then tie a band to something that isn't going to drag away from you when you use it. Step back so you get some tension in the band. And then you're just going to do a hip hinge. So stick your bum back. Let the band take you a little bit. And then drive back up. Once you drive up, squeeze your glutes at the top. and 10 reps. So again, similar to when you were using the, the weight, you're almost letting the band do the work on the way down. That's why you need to step back enough that you feel some tension as you hit, stick your bum back. that cycle one more time. Two reps on the curl and then ten reps on the hip hinge. Personally, straight away, I can see that the second time around, I can keep a little bit of a straighter leg. This is a sign that what I'm doing is helping. Once you come up from the second rep, curling out of the position, just going to go back onto the hip hinge. Ten reps one more time.
I mean, once you've done 10 of them, things should hopefully feel a little bit freer. And then that's a nice way to start the day if you have a uh, little twinges and stuff. And then once you wake up in the morning, tightness, it's a great way to start.